So this is what's up, Brad Durant. This is what I liked about it was it was bars. Yeah. And even if it was jokes in the bars, mm -hmm. I was cool. Even when the guy I'm rooting for was getting hit with some jokes, I'm cool with it. All is fair in love and war. Call him BBL Drake. I get it. <laughs> Hilarious. Keep calling him white boy. It's funny. Hilarious. Him talking about you. I gave you all your number one hits. Funny. Him saying you're damn near 50. Funny. Because you're almost 50. So I liked all of that. And then I even liked the Instagram trolling that was happening at first. When Drake sent the drum line to the club, I love that. When he put the the Metro's face on Nick Cannon's face for the drum, I love that. When he did the Metro, set your whole ass up and make some drums, and he got like, I love that. But what's happening with Ross and Drake now, and they're both doing it, and I don't like it. Now it's just two ridiculously wealthy men. <laughs> arguing about who's richer and that's where i tap out like i'm like bro like let me just tell you like because this is and i know that they don't have to listen to me but i hope that they do sometimes i feel like you can alienate your fan base with the things that you say sometimes i'll never forget driving i was working at direct tv at the time i don't mean to name drop them but i was yeah. at a call center and was just trying to get my shit together you know whatever whatever um Hadn't really booked nothing big yet. Just, you know, just trying to just get along, you know, whatever. But Ross was always been. And I got something for you on this one. One of the most inspirational artists mm -hmm. to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Outside of him just being a, you know, because I like, <laughs> I like, you know, root for the big niggas all the time. Like, Heavy D was one of my favorite rappers because he was a fat nigga. He was dancing. Like, Rick Ross, like, nigga, B.I.G. Like, he was a fat nigga, but nigga, he coming out like he doing, like, he doing his shit. And so even when I moved to LA, I listened to a lot of Teflon Don. Like I lift, like I used to listen to that album, album all the time. So you know what I'm saying? Like he, you know what I'm saying, has has motivated me, you know what I'm saying, in such a way. But I remember when I was driving to work, I forgot what song it was, but I just remember how he said it. I'm driving, I'm just trying to be motivated. I'm like, yeah, man, it's that new Ross. Nigga said, nigga, you a bitch, where your Honda Accord? Nigga, I was driving in a Honda Accord. A red one. And I just remember feeling like, God damn, nigga, like, I just, as a grown ass man, just being like, damn, nigga, like, niggas is just trying to pay bills and shit. Like, and I get that you a rich nigga and you're going to have your flexing moments, but yeah. I'm literally, I literally just. You felt like he was talking to you. I felt like, nigga, I'm driving the Honda Accord. Kind of stray. <laughs> and I'm like, nigga, what did I do? I, I can, I can, I can relate to that because I used to drive a RAV4. And when, when, when yeah. Jay said that shit. <laughs> It should have fucked like, up. Damn it! So, I got a rap for. So and so that's the thing. And so like now, what they're doing is, <laughs> Miss Kiri said, Honda Accords are really good cars. They, they are. And they're Honda great Accord. on gas. Yeah, and they great and they're cheap gas. as hell to, to fix. My sister had the same Honda Accord for like twelve. But when 15 he said years. that, that nigga spoke to me. He said, "Nigga, you a bitch. Where your Honda Accord? That's crazy. I'm that's riding funny. in some shit only I can afford." And so the whole line was hot. I'm like, "Don't insult me with this hotness." So fast no, 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 forward to now, music. fast forward to now, they were going back and forth and I was cool with it. Now it's niggas is comparing houses. First of all, Rick Ross, you have the biggest house in Atlanta. Like, so, and then, oh. and then Drake was talking about his house in Miami. Like that's a content creator house. Nigga, you know, that's, that's a fucking mansion, bro. And then. The niggas like your 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 private jet. You had to wrap that. You got to now. You niggas are arguing about private jets. Regular people can't. So now I'm just like, all right, guys, you got it. You got it. Like, I think it. Okay. I think it's entertaining, it. right? And and Is and, it? and for to me, it's entertaining because they aren't like i don't think they're beefing at the same level that drake and kendrick are beefing right. this is more of a playful like you know like you said some shit you know i said some shit and they're at this tit point for tat. yeah it's just tit for tat it's not even like it's on some like high school just like you know but i but got that's but do you understand the sentiment of alienating most motherfuckers yeah. is just trying to pay rent nigga yeah i don't no, want to hear but two niggas that have hundreds and millions of dollars, like argue, argue about, about who, has, who has more hundreds jet. and millions. Like nigga, and that's cool. You could do it, but it's just like, bro, I was just more impressed 
when it was the I would have been more impressed if you would have just rapped this shit. Like I don't want to hear y'all like now okay. it's just like I. Right. This is why I like it. It's because you don't get to hear those conversations <laughs> normally. It's yeah. like is this what rich was, people argue about? Yeah, it's like you never get to hear those like you know this at, is the, at that level like. Hundred million dollar level. You feel like, you're sitting at their dinner table. While yeah, they it's it's hilarious to me. It's these, like, oh, okay. There's an entertainment aspect. I see the entertainment I hear what you're value. Um, 